you are being told that you are too sensitive, too dramatic, to something and something else like i mean that's really quite insulting that someone would put these judgments or say these things about you this is the thing my friends they don't care who it affects and how it affects you and i've heard this so many times in client work how they do this to you watch this video because i'm going to explain it all Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video, oh my God, like, so they're telling you that you're too dramatic, you're too sensitive, you're too this, you're too that, you're too intense, you're not intense. Why do you do this? Do you know, like they're asking so many things or that it's like, okay. It is like they are saying that there are all these faults within you. And it makes you feel a certain way because when someone says something about you, you kind of take it in and you're thinking, okay, so maybe I need to change something about me. But you see, my friends, you see, my friends, this is the thing. This person is putting this opinion or this criticism about you. What does that mean? Like, why would someone say that to you when you've probably never thought that you're being too dramatic or too sensitive? And so you see, my friends, this is what we're going to be exploring in this video. Why, why somebody puts these judgments and where it will actually get them. What, what actually happens. But my friends, before we get into the video, I just want to say that I do go live on this channel once a week, every Tuesday. And if there's a question or there's something that's on your mind, I'd say come on over to the live because we can answer your question or we can talk about it. And I think like if there's something that's going around around your mind, we can get a quick fire answer over to you. Come on over, what have you got to lose? I'd love to see you there. So my friends, so my friends, let's explore this. So the narcissist is saying certain things about you. They're saying that there is something the matter with you. Now you see, the reason why someone would do that, okay, is to put a judgment on you. Okay, so the judgment is, is that you're being too sensitive, you're being too dramatic, you're being something. Now you see, when somebody does something like this, this can be very heartbreaking or it can be quite upsetting because it's someone who you care about, someone who you love, someone that you place importance or value, or maybe you once did. And so now this person, in a way, is saying that there is some issue with you, okay? And this is not fair because it makes you think that, hold on a minute, is this the case? Like, I've never known myself to be so sensitive or I've never known myself to be quite a dramatic person. I'm always someone who is quite thoughtful of other people's emotions and feelings, but I've never said this. So basically it comes across as a judgment, something that you've never actually thought or felt about yourself. And this can become very hurtful. And in a way it kind of makes, causes you to think, like, is this the truth? Like, is this really what is happening? And it's in that, it's in that that I'm talking about, is the fact that somebody says this about you and makes you think something about yourself that you wouldn't necessarily think that this is true. And this causes, this causes you to feel upset, this causes you to feel like there is an issue with you that you didn't even know about. But it also makes you take on the responsibility of having to change this about you because you know that this person is saying that you are this certain way for a certain reason. Now, think about it. Why would someone want to do this to you? Why would someone do something like this to you? And the reason for this is because it makes you weak. It makes you feel vulnerable. Now, when you are feeling weak or in your in a vulnerable state, it makes you more malleable. And the reason why I'm saying more malleable is because then that narcissist or that person can manipulate you or control you or gaslight you. And you are more likely to believe what they are saying, the narrative that they are actually saying. 
And this serves the narcissist very well. Think about it, that person is in full control. They're telling you, you are something, but you are not actually that. And it causes you to think differently about yourself. Can you see how this is actually affecting you? So the narcissist says that you are this, and you take this information on and you believe it, and you think, okay, maybe I am, I need to change. But you're not but the narcissist wants you to believe that there are issues with you. And this keeps you in that perpetual cycle of stuckness, of feeling like there's, like you're inadequate, the feeling of that you're not good enough, that maybe you need to change. And the narcissist is also, what you have to remember is that they are projecting. They are someone who is dramatic. Think about it, they are quite dramatic. They are also quite sensitive. Imagine saying something to them, they can't take on any criticism, not that you probably would be allowed to, they'll turn it all back over onto you, but that's a protective measure. That's them projecting everything back onto you. And I have, and I have noticed this, obviously like in my client work, where clients have come up and, and you know, in their sessions saying that someone had said this about me, or there's this narrative or this belief that you believe about yourself. And these things, when someone says something like this to you, there's something that you don't really believe is true about yourself, but someone is saying that to you. This can cause destabilization. This has caused doubt within yourself, causes you to separate from who you are because you feel like you don't know yourself. When someone is saying something that you don't believe that is true, you then think to yourself, hold on a minute, can this actually be true? But when someone is telling you lies to keep you manipulated, to keep you under control, this is a whole other level, my friends, of course. So when the narcissist is putting you down and putting these judgments, they are keeping you stuck. And then that causes you to want to change this about you because nobody wants to be called dramatic or oversensitive or any other name. But it encompasses these beliefs about ourselves and we want to change this. So it causes us to feel like we are in the wrong, like maybe there is something about us that needs to be changed. And that is why the words of a narcissist or words of someone like this are very powerful. It is though they plant these seeds and they want these seeds of doubt to grow within us because if you doubt yourself, you may, they can still continue with their manipulation. They can still continue with their gaslighting and you are going to stay trapped in these, in this, in this thought, in this process where you have to stay and you have to believe. And that's what they want you to do is to stay trapped in a relationship, in a scenario that you can't leave, you can't see through it because you're constantly trying to think, oh, okay, I need to make this better. I need to be different. And that's the thing, my friends, this is the trap. When someone is saying something about you, you know, it attacks your whole identity. It attacks the way that you think. It attacks who you are, your beliefs, your integrity, your identity. So this has, a, this judgments or these words have a profound effect on who you are and the way that you feel about yourself which is why it is very important which is why i always say this guys you need to connect back to yourself you need to connect back to you and who you are so that so that when someone comes along and says all of these things about you you are not going to start to believe them and falter and think yeah maybe this this is true maybe that isn't and this is what i say to my clients like when you are starting to doubt yourself, where is this doubt come from? Who has said something to you? Because this comes from somebody else's narrative, somebody else's opinion of what they think. And you know what, my friends, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Everyone's entitled to the way that they think, but doesn't mean that that's got to be your truth. Doesn't mean that you've got to turn that into your narrative because that is the danger. This is how narcissists are able to take your identity, you know, over like possess your thought patterns, your thinking, the way that you are. And this is where it becomes toxic because actually it isn't true. It is true for that person. Maybe they are thinking that, but doesn't mean that it's your truth. doesn't mean that you've got to take that on. And so you see, my friends, when this is the case, 
you know, when you feel like you come back to yourself, when you feel you're connected to yourself, think about what happens to you then. Think about how much that helps you to grow as a person, how, it, how much connecting back to yourself and believing your own truth, believing your own narrative, not thinking that somebody else, what they have said about you is the truth. Think about how that makes you feel. You feel so much better about yourself. You feel stronger. You feel that you can accomplish a lot more. But when someone is putting you down, saying these, these things like you're too sensitive, you're too dramatic, think about it can only serve one person. It can only serve them, isn't it? Because they are, they are wanting to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you small. But if that isn't true, there's no such thing as being too sensitive. It just means that that person doesn't have the time, the energy, or even the bandwidth to want to understand perhaps maybe why something is upsetting you. It's a very like throwaway statement, isn't it? You're too sensitive. So the way that someone speaks about you does have profound effects on the way that you interpret yourself and the way that you go forward. And I'm here to tell you that, okay, everyone has opinions. Everyone says certain things, but it doesn't mean that they've got to be true. It doesn't mean that that is the truth. That's fine if it's the truth for them. But you, this is what I mean. You've got to use your discernment. You've got to use your own judgment. Okay, when someone says something, okay, fine, whatever. That's their thoughts. That's their truth. Doesn't mean that it's yours. So I really hope that this video helps you to understand that actually the way that you think about you, the way that you feel about you, that is the truth because that is your truth and you need to trust that, okay? That is, that is what is really important here is that you need to trust that that is the case. You see, because so many of us get caught in this trap thinking, oh, we are this, we are that. And then we develop, like I said before, we develop these self-narratives about ourselves that not, are not true, okay? And this stays with us for a really long time and it really damages the way that we feel about ourselves. So I really hope that this video gets you to think about this in a different way. If you are someone that is going through this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. Also, I'd say check out this video because this video really goes into more depth into why and how um, the narcissist behaves like this, why the narcissist is like this. Um, I've also got a Discord server which is completely free for you to join as a community of like-minded individuals. Please see the description box for the link. And also I've got a mentorship and a journal club which I post in there every single Monday. And um, if you are interested in joining, I would say come on over. Please see the description box for the link. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.